setting up a VPN tunnel on two routers. A virtual private network or VPN is a connection between two endpoints. A VPN router, for instance, in different networks, that allows private data to be sent securely over a shared or public network, such as the internet. This establishes a private network that can send data securely between these two locations or networks through a tunnel. A VPN tunnel connects the two. Computers or networks, and allows data to be transmitted over the internet as if it were still within those networks. It is a connection secured by encrypting the data sent between the two networks. <clears throat> so it is a connection secured by encrypting the data sent between the two networks. Okay, let me go horizontal here. Link says VPN router to VPN router gateway to gateway tunnel. What? Link says VPN router to VPN router gateway to gateway tunnel. <clears throat> location A, location B. We have VPN router on the left and modem that is connected to the internet. And on the other side, on location B, there is another modem. Then it is, it connects VPN router on the back end, and the that VPN router connects three laptops, wired computers. On the uh, VPN router on location A, it also connects wired computers. VPN router location A LAN IP address one ninety two one six eight one one, and the VPN router on location B the IP address is one ninety two one six eight two one. Some the mask two 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 five two two five two five five. Dot o. When internet IP address. Uh, two two dot fifteen dot one sixty dot five three. Local IP address one ninety two one six eight one one. Local secure gateway one ninety two one six eight one one. Remote secure gateway ten one hundred sixteen sixty. Encryption DES authentication MOS. PFS enabled pre-shared key, my secret key, inbound and outbound SPI one hundred key management order, one IKG key lifetime three six hundred operation mode aggressive group seven six eight bit. Some the mask two two five two two five two five five zero under location B, when or internet IP address ten one hundred sixteen sixty. Okay, same address. Local secure gateway one ninety two one six eight two dot one. Remote secure gateway two two dot fifteen dot one sixty dot. Fifty three encryption DES、uh, authentication MOS PFS enabled pre shared key my secret key inbound and outbound SPI one hundred key management order IKG key lifetimes three hundred three thousand six hundred operation mode aggressive group seven hundred sixty eight bit. Note the values assigned may vary depending on the user's preference. To set up a VPN tunnel on a Linksys Linksys router, you need to perform four steps: connecting devices together, verifying the VPN settings needed on the two routers, configuring VPN tunnel settings on router A, configuring VPN tunnel settings on router B. Connecting devices together, 
Before connecting to a VPN tunnel, you need to ensure that there is an active internet connection between the two routers that will communicate. For instructions, click here. After ensuring that there is an active internet connection, you need to verify the VPN settings. To verify the VPN settings of the two routers, follow the instruction below. But let's click there. Article not found. Then what happened? We say, uh, what the fuck happened? There's an empty uh, link, Hyper 6. Let me uh, tap on it one more time. Article not found. So uh, we call that a snuff. Verifying the VPN settings needed on the two routers. In order for you to successfully configure a VPN tunnel, you need to take note of the settings needed to set up a tunnel. To verify the settings needed for your VPN tunnel, follow the steps below. Step 1. Access the router's web-based setup page. For instructions, click here. Note, if you are using a Mac to access the router's web-based setup page, click here. Step 2. Click Status, then Gateway, and take note of the Internet WAN IP address. Router A's status page. Click status, status, click gateway, setup, security, access, restrictions, applications, and gaming, uh, administration, status, click status, click gateway, gateway, local network, gateway. This will be Rara B's remote security gate IP. PPP login is that a router A's status page? PPP login internet IP address lease 22.15.160.53. Mm -hmm. Router public subnet mask. Default gateway DNS server 123 internet DHCP IP expires. Router B's status page. Click a status, click gateway. It will be Router A's remote security gateway IP. It's remote security, remote security gate IP, remote security gate IP. That's 10.100.16.60. There's intra net IP address. Click status, then local network. And take note of the IP address. Router A's status page. Click status, status, local network. Local MAC address, IP address 192.168.11. This will be router A's local secure group as well as router B's remote secure group IP. This will be router A's local secure group as well as local router A's local secure group as well as router B's remote secure group IP. And the subnet mask 255.255.255.0, that's a class C. THCP server enabled. THCP client table. Router B's status page. Click status. Click local network. This will be Router B's local secure group as well as Router A's remote secure group IP. Uh-huh, 192.168.2.1 and subnet mask 
for class C. Note, if the screen on your router's web page or setup page looks different, click here. Step 4. Make sure the local IP address of the two routers are different. Take note that the local IP address of router A will be router B's remote secure group. That's quite important. This is quite important, man. Let me read these sentences one more time. Make sure the local IP address of the two routers addresses of the two routers are different. Take note that the local IP address of router A will be router B's remote secure group. Remote secure group. Note to change the local IP address of the Linksys router, click here. Internet router A, router B. Internet IP 2215160530. Local 192, local IP uh, 192.168.11. Internet IP 10.116.60. And local IP 192.168.21. Router B's IP will be the remote secure group IP of router A. Router B's Router B's local IP will be its local secure group's IP as well as Router A's remote secure group IP. I'm getting confused now. Router A Router A's IP will be the remote secure group IP of Router B. Router A's local IP will be its local secure group's IP as well as Router B's remote secure group IP. Okay. Step 5. After verifying the settings needed to set up a tunnel, you need to configure the settings on router A. For instructions, follow the steps below. Configuring VPN tunnel settings on router A. Links is VPN router to VPN router gateway to gateway tunnel. Uh, LAN IP, uh -huh. subnet mask, WAN IP, local IP address. Local secure gateway, remote secure gateway. Encryption DS, authentication mask, PFS. Step 1. Access the router's web-based setup page. Web-based setup page. For instructions, click here. Note, if you're using a Mac, to access the router's web-based setup page, click here. Step 2. When the router's web-based setup page appears, click Security, then VPN. Note, if the screen on your router's web-based setup page looks different, click here. Step 3. Select the tunnel entry you wish to create, VPN. Step 4. Look for VPN tunnel, then select Enabled. Step 5. Under Tunnel Name, enter the name you want to set your tunnel. In this example, Tunnel 1 was used. IPsec pass through, PPTP pass through, enabled. Select a tunnel entry that you will create. Select a tunnel entry, Tunnel 1. VPN tunnel select enabled. Tunnel name, VPN Tunnel 1. Under tunnel name, enter. 
tunnel one or the name you want to set your tunnel. Step six, look for local CQ group and select either subnet, IP address or IP range. Then under fields provided, enter the appropriate values of the router. In this example, we selected the subnet and entered 192.168.10 for the IP and the 255.255.255.50 for the mask. 198.168.10 Enabled, enabled, subnet mask. Select either subnet IP address or IP range depending on your preference. Then enter the values appropriate under fields provided. Mask. Step 7, under Remote Secure Group, where is Remote Secure Group? Huh. Select either subnet, subnet IP address, IP range, host, or any. Then, under Fields provided, enter the appropriate values of the remote router. In this example, we selected the subnet and entered 192.168.2.0, okay? Okay. And the class C, got it? Remote secure group, IP, uh-huh, select either subnet IP address, IP range, host, or any depending on your preference and enter the values appropriate under fields provided IP. IP Remote Security Gateway IP address 10 161660 Remote security IP. Remote security IP. Okay. Select either IP address, FQDN, or any, depending on your preference. Then enter the values appropriate on the field provided. Remote Security Gateway. Step 9. Under Encryption, select the encryption level you wish to enable on your tunnel. In this example, we use the DES. Note, make sure the encryption level selected is the same with the router you wish to establish a VPN tunnel with. Step 10. Under Authentication, select the authentic authentication mode you wish to enable on your tunnel. In this example, we used MD5. Note, make sure authentication, encryption, authentication. Make sure the authentication mode selected is the same with the router you wish to establish a VPN tunnel with. Gateway MD5 SHA or disable for the authentication. Select either DES, 3DES or disable for the encryption. Step 11. Under Key Management, select Otter, IKE, Step 12. 
make sure PFS perfect forward secrecy is enabled. This will ensure that the initial key exchange and IKE proposals are secured. Make sure PFS perfect forward secrecy. Perfect forward secrecy is enabled. This will ensure that the initial key exchange and IKE proposal, proposals are secured. Perfect sec forward secrecy. Key management. On the key management, select other IKE. Enable, select enable. P perfect forward secrecy. Pre-shared key, key lifetime. Step 13. Under pre-shared key, enter the key you want to enable on your tunnel. In this example, my secret key was used. My secret key. Step 14. Under key lifetime, Enter the time period you want the key to expire on your tunnel. In this example, 3600 3, was used. Key lifetime, pre-shared key. Note, make sure the pre-shared key and key lifetime entered are the same with the remote router. Step 15, click Save Settings. Step 16, after verifying the settings needed to set up a tunnel, you need to configure the settings on router B. For instructions, follow the steps below. Configuring VPN tunnel settings on router B. Links VPN router to VPN router gateway to gateway tunnel. Step 1. Access the router's web-based web setup page. For instructions, click here. Note if you are using a Mac. To access the router's web-based setup page, click here. Step 2. When the router's web-based setup page appears, click Security, then VPN. In the screen on your router's web page, the setup page looks different. Click here. Step 3. Select the tunnel entry you wish to create. Step 4. Uh, look for VPN tunnel and then select Enabled. Step 5. Under VPN tunnel, VPN name, enter the name you want to set your tunnel. In this example, tunnel 1 was used. Enabled IPsec pass through. IPsec pass through. Enabled. Select a tunnel entry that will create that you will create. Tunnel 1. Enabled. Tunnel 1. Under tunnel name, enter tunnel 1 or the name you want to set your tunnel. Step 6. Look for local CQ group and select either subnet IP address or IP range. Then, on the fields provided, enter the appropriate values of the router. In this example, we selected subnet and entered 192.168.2.0 for the IP and 255.255.255.0 for the mask. 192.168. Two dot. Okay, uh, so we are very close now. Encryption. So we're almost getting there. Remote secure group select either some the mask IP address, IP range, host, or any. Then on the fields provided, enter the appropriate values on your router. This value should be from the remote router. In this example, we select the subnet and enter 192, so on. Okay. PFS, almost same. Got it. 
Is that it? Step 7. On the remote secure group, select either a subnet IP address, IP range, host, or any. Then on the fields provided, enter the appropriate values on your router. These, these values should be from the remote router. In this example, we select the subnet and enter 192.168.10 for the IP and 255.255.255.0 for the mask. Remote secure group. IP address. Look for the remote security gateway drop down menu and select either IP address FEQDN or any. Then enter the WAN internet IP address or DDNS of the remote router. Step 8. Look for the remote security gateway drop down menu and select either IP address or FEQDN or any. Then enter the uh, WAN internet IP address or the DDNS of the remote router. In this example, we selected IP address and entered 2215.16053 for the IP address field. Under encryption, select the encryption level you wish to enable on, the, on your tunnel. In this example, we use the DES. Note, make sure the encryption level is the same with the router you wish to establish a VPN tunnel with. Step 10. Under authentication, select the authentication mode you wish to enable on your tunnel. In this example, we used MD5. Note, make sure the authentication mode is the same with the router you wish to establish a VPN tunnel with. Step 11. On the key management, select Other IKE. Step 12. Make sure PFS, perfect forward secrecy, is checked. This will ensure that the initial key exchange and IKE proposals are secured. Why not? Step 13. Under pre-shared key, enter the key you want to enable on your tool. In this example, my secret key was used. Step 14. On the key lef lifetime, enter the time period you want the key to expire on your tunnel. In this example, 3600 was used. Make sure the pre shared key and key lifetime entered are the same with the remote router. Step 15 click Save Settings. Step 16 click Connect. Was this support article useful? Yes. Additional support questions search again. Contact support. So uh, basically, we first got to know uh, each office's uh, official IP address or internal IP address and uh, its subnet mask and default gateway. That's a remote security a gateway IP address. Then we should decide the internal or, uh, I don't know, infrastructure, infra networks IP 
network group each side should have different ip address group like 192 168 11 121 then we decide and uh, if the other's IP address is different or changes or what we call official floating IP address, then uh, TDNS should be used. <laughs> okay. And then we should decide on the uh, encryption and authentication mode and which key scheme is, is going to be used then if the two routers are used then everything will be done and that's for vpn settings man so uh that's it uh thanks for listening um nothing particular but it logically made sense uh i think linksys is uh, not american brand maybe taiwanese brand but the description nonetheless was helpful. Thanks for tuning in. Bye bye.